Hey, welcome back to the TK Breezy channel. We are going to talk about low tide, not low tech or low tier, even though they keep using the LTC and they should probably brand different. But yeah, low tide was this weekend and it was a good time. I uh, got a chance to, well, I commentated and it's been the first time I've been to a tournament in a while, uh, to be completely honest. So it was fun. And not a lot of top players went, uh, but I don't really care too much about that. As long as the top eight is good uh, and entertaining, then I'm still happy. And I think the top eight was pretty entertaining. Mew Day's taking a W. Captain Captain Cito getting second place with me, Gunner. Uh, Meister getting third. Uh, we had uh, success stories from uh, Shu, the ZSS, and Beastly. So yeah, I mean, just really good. Uh, really good top eight, all all things considered. Um, and would uh, would commentate it again. Um, but outside of that. The first thing actually has nothing to do with uh, low tide at all. It's just uh, something that's kind of relevant to Smash. And uh, our friend DC uh, has passed away. Uh, it says, hey all, we regret to inform you that Daniel DC Coke is no longer with us for a long time. DC struggled in silence uh, with depression and illness and he did not have the heart to fight those battles any longer and has chosen to end his life. Now, if you didn't know, DC actually had uh, ALS and he's been fighting with that for like six-ish years, uh, at, at the very least, right? So, uh, you know, he was putting up a good fight. I saw him like th maybe like three-ish years ago, and he was still relatively healthy, but obviously, it, you know, rapidly advanced and whatnot. Uh, and a little bit before this, there was a whole uh, thread about uh, about his son and his wife. And there's a little he said, she said back and forth about what was going on with that. But to paraphrase, or to the, the fact is that the wife has left with the son and uh, has made a lot of claims uh, that DC was abusive and all this other good stuff. And DC came back to be like, hey, bro, that's, you know, at least physically, like, that's literally impossible. Like, I'm like, the last video of his was like, you can tell that, like, that man doesn't really have that much, uh, you know, like, he can't even speak that well here. Like, he can't move. Like, you know, so she's his character. She was his caretaker. And I'm sure there's probably some stress of doing that, but like I don't want to like dive too deep into that part of the story because I still don't know the, the full details. Uh, it sucks because you know like we've known him for a long time. Um, I've known DC probably like the first time I even commented like or first time like we commented together uh, after knowing each other was UFGTX, and that was like the tournament right before Combo Breaker started be being Combo Breaker. So way 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 back in the day. And then yeah, I've just seen him at a bunch of tournaments since then. Uh, so yeah, that's one of my boys, man. You know, he was he was in our he was in our group when we were all coming up. And then you know he got he got the Pokemon job. So you know, we were all proud of him, and whatnot. Like that's a pretty big job to hold. And he held that all the way up until I think the, you know the very end. So I feel like regardless of what was true or not, it seems like he just had a a hard last few weeks of life before you know let that one go. So uh, it sucks. And, you know, I, he will be missed. And, you know, I hope that he is, uh, you know, he's in a better place now. So um, the next thing we have to talk about um, was the big, the big drama, uh, the big news that came out of LTC. And it has to do with Meister. Now, Meister's kind of been on like a downward trend lately, just as like a, as a personality, as a player. Um, you know, first his teammates get signed and then everyone's kind of clowning on him or whatever. And, like, in that aspect, I think that's pretty lame. I think Meister is definitely catching a little too much flack. Even in his bio, he says ranked number six worldwide. And, you know, if that's an old ranking or, you know, if, you know, he went down a little bit, he's still within the top 20 for sure by, like, by far. So, the jokes are kind of, it's kind of fucked um, that, like, he had to deal with that for so long. But this has nothing to do with that because... There's been a lot of shit talk just throughout. Uh, mostly, most of the shit talk I think has been between Meister, or well, Mexico really, and um, and uh, Jordan, because you know Jordan got he got it in Natoru, then he got a tag, and you know they you know they obviously went to to bat for their boy and stuff. So in doubles, uh, Meister uh, and Sky J beat uh, Jordan and his teammate. I can't remember his teammate was, but they talked that shit and like and this aspect 100% understandable Jordan been talking shit you've been talking shit you know all right cool like we talked that shit at the end we win we talked that shit okay word like so no one like really said anything about that but the, the real issue was that to get in the top eight Meister had to play uh syrup and he beat syrup in the game five and then he fist bumped syrup 
and he said you fucking suck right now keep in mind like i'm not really on the camp that like oh you can't shit talk nobody ever but like what is the point of shit talking someone that that is not shit talk to you syrup is like the quietest kid ever right that like he's just he's just playing the game you know what i mean i don't think he bothered nobody uh you know he's just out here he's out here big chilling so it looks very much like you're bullying the little guy when I feel like if there was a certain other person on that stage, you would not have done that. Like, I don't know, man. I feel like if it was someone that like, if it was someone bigger, you know, stronger or whatever, like, I feel like he wouldn't have never done that. So, um, so from that, from that point, um, from that point, like, obviously it, it got to Twitter or, uh, Meister made some tweet. I cannot remember exactly what the tweet was, but basically he was like, this is who I am. This is who I was, you know, this is who I am. Uh, well, Twitter didn't like that. You know, uh, that's the one thing you can't do with smash Twitter is, openly be a, a shithead because then everybody gets on their high horse and says you know i would never do this i'm better than you blah 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 now there was some people that did agree that meister and i don't even think they knew the full story but they did agree that like you know it's not that big of a deal like it should talk as part of esports blah 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 uh most notably mr e but mr e always has bad takes so if you're on his side then you're probably just wrong and this is why okay i don't think that shit talking is wrong by any means you know but y'all can't play both sides. Y'all can't be like, we should protect children and then allow and then allow shit like this to happen, right? Because I remember the one time that I was a little harsh to a 16 year old on commentary. Y'all were at my fucking neck. So now that Meister is actually telling a 15 year old straight to himself, uh, straight to his face, fuck you, without, <laughs> you know, without any reason to say that. They went to a game five, last stock, last hit type, type situation. Meister did make a great comeback. That's wonderful, right? What was the point of saying that? You know? If 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 uh, Syrup got on that stage, I'm gonna beat your ass, right? And then he loses, then I I would 100% be just, I'd be like, I could see Meister being justified, right? You know, like, ah, LOL, you fucking suck, right? I don't, that's competition at that point in time. But that kid said nothing. There's no reason Syrup should have got that. So anyway, as I said, that got on Twitter. I think people aren't like, there's nuance in this situation where like shit talk in itself inherently isn't bad. But again, you cannot say that y'all want to protect children, blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, oh, there's minors at the event. Oh, you know, all this other good stuff. And then immediately turn around and be like, well, sh I mean, he's playing with the adults. But now y'all want to say he's an adult. That shit is, that shit is crazy. Like every time someone says something about Smash, it's always, oh, I can't believe Y'all are getting so mad about this children's party game. I and mean, now, I I, now when, when the when the narrative needs to be flipped, oh, well, you know, he's playing with the adults. Uh, it, no, <laughs> like, no, absolutely not. I think, I think as I said, like, if, if Sir went up there and was shit talking him, then, then whatever, right? But again, the kid's super quiet, super chill. And uh, like, I just don't think that that was ever, uh, that never should have been said. Uh, so anyway, everybody gets their dunks on Meister, and the funniest part that came about, uh, out about this is that my uh, Serp's mom actually came, came through. She made a Twitter for this. Ah. Oh, she even changed her name. All right, check this out, bro. Uh, so yeah, Serp's mom comes through, through, like, the tweet's deleted now, obviously, uh, and says, as an adult, I think players such as yourself have no class, zero sportsmanship. Yeah, uh, even if you win, you're still a loser all around. I have the utmost respect for all players, but you're the low of the low. No doubt. That no doubt sent me, bro. I don't know what it is about her saying no doubt, but that shit fucking killed me. <laughs> no doubt. For sure. Like, and so obviously, you know, hard ratioed. Everybody had Mother's Day, you know, all that other good stuff. To get that all out of the system, I again, I'm not, uh, I am not saying that Meister is the worst person in the world. I just think this is a bad moment for Meister, uh, and I think that he realized that. But I will say, I don't think he realized that on his own volition. And I feel like if Smash Twitter was on his side, he would have not apologized. That's just how I feel, straight up. I think a lot of people kind of get like bullied into apology because they're like trying to, you know, they're, they're trying tired of seeing all the negative comments toward them. So they're like, oh, maybe I am wrong. I should apologize. Meister comes through, says, regarding Syrup, I tried talking with Syrup, uh, but he doesn't want to, understandably so. I should not have trash talked him, not only because he is young, but because he also has not done anything to me, nor did he say anything to me prior, during, or after the set. He's a great player with a lot of potential, and he got ninth in a major tonight for a reason. What I said was unacceptable, and I'm sorry. 
while this is not an excuse, I generally forgot Syrup was as young as he is. Last time I played uh, him uh, was back in 2023 20, years ago. Until then, I haven't heard much of him, nor did I remember how old he was, and I seriously mean this. I know there uh, will be people who won't, but I really do mean it. What I said was wrong, and I apologize. I want to clarify that I don't really think any of that, and I really uh, feel bad for what I said, even ashamed of myself. I promise to learn from my mistakes and do better in these situations moving forward. Uh, so we did get an apology. You can decide what you feel about that apology. I'm just going to tell you how I feel. Um, and I think that, like, this definitely feels a little, little performative. Uh, and I, I mean, I, am I happy to see it? Yeah, for sure. But I feel like, again, if, if, if Twitter was on his side, I don't think we would have got this apology. Um, but in the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is probably probably not even, uh, oh, it's not even probably, it's not even probably, it's definitely not a big deal, right? Uh, it was said, everyone was like, hey, bro, don't fucking say that. He apologized. We can all just move on now, you know? Uh, the only reason I'm even talking about this is because you motherfuckers love videos like this. So, <laughs> but as said, yeah, it just, uh, I think, I think the, the greater conversation is yes, shit talk is definitely okay and allowed. The, 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 the bottom line here, I would say is don't be a dick, but definitely don't be a dick to children, but definitely don't be a dick to children first, right? <laughs> like, like, again, I feel like if, if, if Buddy got on that stage and was talking all kind of shit, hey, roast him, you know? You know, you know what I say, bullying works, all right? But Buddy wasn't doing none of that shit. Had that been, you know, someone that was over 21 or whatever, I probably would still think he was kind of a dick for talking about somebody that, like, did, probably wasn't talk, shit talking him. Uh, but, like, it's definitely more acceptable, I guess, if you, if you would like to put it that way, because, you know, now we're, like, of comparable age. We're both actually adults. Being a teenager uh, is some of the most formative years of your life. And a lot of that stuff that you have to deal with when you're a teenager sticks with you for a long time. So I don't want to be the reason some kid has low self-confidence, you know? I don't want to be the reason some kid has anxiety issues or something like that. Uh, because, like, there's shit I've been still working through that I had to deal with from the time I was 14 to 18 that I'm still going to therapy to to work through. So, yeah, I definitely will not be the, the person to, to contribute to that, 100%. Uh, but as I said, if you, if you talk shit... I am talking shit back. However, I actually just started blocking people under under uh, like 16 generally. Uh, Cause I'm like, all right, you know, like 16 year old smashers, like, yeah, you can be a fan of mine. But like a 13 year old smasher, like I'm not trying to, we don't have nothing to talk about. <laughs> like we have nothing to talk about, bro. I'm sorry. So, uh, I mean, I barely have anything to talk about with someone who's actually 21. So like imagine, you know, just it, no, just no. But yeah. Moving aside from that, yeah, I mean, like, still, uh, we, that was, like, a very small part of the tournament, but it did lead into a, a greater conversation of, like, what is acceptable and shit talking and whatnot. Um, and I think that LTC, just in general, was a great time. I looked great in, uh, in, on both days. I had some, some fire fits, as Birdie V said. Uh, had, the, had the cheetah print shirt on the first day, had the silk shirt on, had the chat going foolish for me. I saw y'all getting thirsty in there. That shit was crazy. Uh, and then, yeah, I just felt like I dropped some hot commentary. It was a great time. Uh... And, uh, yeah, I just, that's it. That's going to be it for this video, man. Uh, if you did not go to LTC, try to go next year. It's a good time. Or Riptide, one or the other. Like, the Kalahari is a pretty cool resort. The only thing about the Kalahari is they are very expensive, so make sure you stack, like, 1,800 people into your room. Uh, luckily, I live here. I live 15 minutes away, so I just, I just stayed home, you know, and that was great. Um, but uh, with that being said, man, I will talk to you guys on the next video, whatever that's about. And uh, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe here on YouTube and, of course, on the uh, TK Breezy stream if you haven't already done that. Very much appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Peace.